Hello, today's Wednesday, 17th of July, 2024. My name's Sam Gerrans, and today we're going to be giving some advice on uh, to young men who may be considering doing the kind of work that I've been doing over the last 10 years. Okay, um, I've written a, a few uh, points that I wanted to make that I, I think that I should have made some time ago, perhaps um, really to young men who may be considering doing something aligned to the kind of work that I've been doing since 2014. And um, I've got 10 points. I'm just going to make them as, uh, as quickly as I can. Now, obviously, these this is for people who've been following my work, who know what it is. Um, you know, it's not for people if you've just come across my channel you don't know who I am or what I've been doing you're not going to get this perhaps it might be worth watching something else but for those who who do know what it is that I've been doing and so on <clears throat> um, these are points that have just basically grown out of experience and the, f the first thing I would say is if, if you're going to choose to do something uh, aligned to what I've done or similar in some ways um, the first thing I would suggest is <clears throat> make sure you have um, let's call it just to put it in Christian-esque terms a calling um, this isn't something you should just mess around with because you've got nothing better to do or you want you know to develop an online following or you think it might be interesting or exciting <coughs> I would make sure that you personally uh, are certain that it's worth the worth the the price i'll get to price uh, later on in this um it's not a game there are there are consequences for everything that you do um probably if you're like me what you'll have is what you will have had is a burning question that you needed an answer to and there just in my case at least there was there was no way to get that answer or those answers without doing um my own due diligence, which is something I'm going to get to in a moment. So the first thing is, I would it, it probably, if this sort of work is, you know, right for you or something, not exactly what I've done, but in some way aligned to it, um, you'll find it very difficult to do anything else. If, if, if that's not the case, then I would consider probably not doing it. That would be my advice. Um, okay, the second point is, um, you need to understand who and what you are. Um, in my case, I knew that what I needed to do, what I, what I was compelled to do, was my own due diligence on the Qur'an, free from the preconceived and uh, predetermined outcomes of what I call brand Islam. Um, but, but, but primarily, I've always understood that my main um, impetus is political. Um, understanding who the elites are and what they're doing to the world, um, my the primary question that I set out to answer was, how do you stop them? And the only way that I could see it is that uh, by looking to the past, what's worked in the past. So th that's that's me. Um, I've known that I'm, I'm not, a, uh, to use a Christian-esque term, a pastor. Um, I'm not. I'm not necessarily a teacher. I mean, I do teach, but I'm not primarily a teacher. I look at teachers. Um, a, a good example would be uh, Frith, Sh Thrith, Frith Joff Schoen. Um, he he was a teacher, or an intellectual such as uh, René Guénon. I'm neither of those people. I'm primarily um, reacting, if you want to call it that, or acting in the context of understanding that we're very close to total tyranny and there, uh, to look at what's worked in the past and that was really what spawned my work, the God Protocol and the Quran, a complete revelation was simply necessary as, as a legal basis f um, for the God Protocol and my work on the mysterious letters was simply an adjunct to that. But fundamentally, there's been one idea. And I think that men who set out to do something, there will be one idea. If you don't know what that idea is, don't do it. 
uh, wait until you have wait until you know what it is so and, and understand who and what you are um, because this brings me to my third point which is you will need to stay focused on your job uh, the only thing that you will have is time and energy and what you'll find is a, a whole load of people who think they know best uh, what you should be spending your time and your energy on usually it'll be something to do with what they want um, I would advise looking out for any email which contains the word only. Uh, could you, or just, could you just, could you just do this? Could you just translate your work into Serbo crap by Tuesday afternoon? Or um, things like this. You will get a ton, in fact, I'll, I'll open up my email, I'm not going to show it to you, but you will get a ton of unsolicited advice of people who know better than you what it is you should be doing and they will chew up your time. And unless you're very clear on what you're doing and why, you'll get pulled in all kinds of different directions. Now, just, just to give you um, an insight into the type of world that you will end up inhabiting if you do this sort of work, if there's still time to do this sort of work, I don't know that there is, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, in my email box, I have uh, created folders, which mean I can very quickly... Uh, assign a particular thread to a particular folder because there isn't much new under the sun and what will happen is this stuff will repeat um, now obviously I've been selling books so I have a folder for completed purchases um, I have a, a folder called uh, answer later which is interesting stuff that I will reply to probably um, I have a folder for typos. People kindly send me typos and anything that comes in with that goes into that folder. Uh, a general admin folder. But here's, here's the bit that will be interesting. Um, I have a folder called Help Me Projects. You will find a whole load of people who they'd, they'd like to do something, they want to do something significant, but the only thing missing from the equation is you. You, your time, your oversight, whatever it is. Don't do it. Get out of it. Just, just ignore it. That would be my advice. Um, interesting inbox, um, but probably I'm going to ignore that. Um, next one, uh, non-insane ignore. So they're not mad, but I have to ignore them. Uh, then I get into, I've got a, a kind of um, a set of a set of folders, troll comments, and that breaks down into hate mail, in need of therapy, mad people, safely ignore. Uh, suspicious stroke deluded unsolicited viewing useless advice um, this should give you some insight into what your incoming is going to be all of these things are going to chew up your time and unless you're independently wealthy or whatever it is you, you, all you've got is your efforts and so if this is the right thing for you then i would suggest being very 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 disciplined on who you engage with it doesn't mean don't engage with anybody but understand that your time your attention is your only asset okay so stay focused on your job you're going to meet a whole load of people who will think they know better than you what your job is and going back to the first thing what's your calling unless you're absolutely clear on what your job is don't be doing this just study, just become a student. I mean, we're all students. I'm a student too. But I would, I'd, I would seriously advise staying away, you know, from this this type of work. Um, the, the the next point or related point is to do with what I've learned about leadership, and having thought about this to some extent, uh, I would say that my one of my working definitions of leadership is allowing people to misunderstand you. You will be misunderstood and you just have to allow it. Um, I wouldn't advise going out there looking up what people are saying about you or arguing about it or any of this. Again, this is a time sink. It will just sink. It will just um, take up your time. Just it, Again, this really goes back to the initial calling thing. If you've got a, a firm idea of what you must do and why, all of these other things will just fall away. They've... Um, but I just thought I would share these because if you f if you find that you're being dragged into uh, arguing about these secondary things, I would adv I would say this really isn't for you. Okay. <clears throat> so 
the next thing is, you, you, I suppose, to, to sort of wrap this part up, um, if you're very firmly clear on what you're doing and why, you won't let other people set your agenda for you. Um, and there will be tons of them, and mainly their their contacts will, uh, sort of letters will in, involve the word just. They just want you to do something. Um, so, point four, you need to exercise total discipline. Uh, understand that your only capital is your time and your intelligence. And anything that eats up into that, unless it's uh, going to result in, for, in, in moving forward your goal, it's, uh, you're basically failing in your task. So, so that would be that one. And the next one is be prudent. Um, there are there's lots of deceit in this world. Um, I'm not going to go into examples, but I've had many approaches that I was very suspicious of. Um, people quite often they just want to get a screenshot of something that you've replied to that they can take out of context and um, you know impugn your character or whatever it is. Um, obviously, there's a certain amount of that's going to happen anyway. But I would advise on. You know, exercising prudence and honestly if you're under 30 you know you probably don't have the life experience and wisdom to 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 deal with that I, I certainly wouldn't have done under 30 let's put it that way um, the next point is accept help but test first um, again I suppose this really relates to prudence there are good people out there um, and and th by experience, you'll learn better who they are. But just because somebody uh, agrees with you or appears to you know, be on your side or something, mm, uh, we say in Russian, uh, test but uh, no trust but verify. You know, you need to, to verify. Just because um, it can be, it can especially if you're on your own. Uh, you, you know, especially if you've um, paid a, a price. And I'm, I'm going to get to the price in a minute you know it can be quite a relief when somebody you know appears to be on your side and you can let your guard down i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend that and especially if you let people close to you you know you want to be careful for a, a good amount of time and if you see that somebody's not being you know completely honest with you um you know that another part of leadership is is l l knowing where and when to to cut that tie um the next thing is so so that's accepting help and without help you know you won't be able to do it but but you know not all help is equal that's what i'm trying to say okay the next point is choose what to ignore and this really ties into my last video I th as i as i said in the last video knowing what to ignore is, is the new superpower and if you don't have that discipline then you will end up um, you know just sort of spinning your wheels again it really goes back to the the initial thing of having a, a, an actual calling you know if, if you want to simulate something or emulate somebody this isn't the way to do it okay um you need to be certain that you have a, a particular job to do. So that's the next one. The next point is understand when you have finished. I, my, my own view is that, um, that it's really project-based. And when, if, you, if you start with a very clear goal, you will know when you have finished. And when you have, then you need the discipline to, to know that um, and and to walk away at that point. That's a point I'm going to come back to in the near future. But but that would be something that you have to go in knowing that. Point nine is pay the price. Uh, there's a price to be paid. Of course, the uh, the rewards are great. Uh, we're promised in the Quran. You know, everything we do for God, there is a reward. But there's also a price to be paid. And in this time of almost universal delusion. People don't want to pay the price. And when I say pay the price, um, you know, you, you, you will find that you're not going to be accepted. You will be, uh, you know, rejected or whatever it is. And it's 
there's there's no way out of it. It, it, it tough. It's tough. It's like Elvis Presley used to say, um, you know, if you cut me, I bleed. And uh, um, as I was, I was I was talking with uh, Brother Said Mirza yesterday, <laughs> and mentioned um, Bill Murray, an actor, who who said uh, he said people say you you it's a good thing to be rich and famous. He said I would I would start being f- with rich, and th- the point that he was making is that fame, even if it's just micro fame, s- still uh, entails comprises the same pressures that macro fame has except with none of the benefits because you don't have protection you don't have the insulation of wealth or whatever it is but but the in its own way the the pressures can be can be just as um as powerful as they could for somebody who in, in the in the days of macro fame and people think that they want that um and when I'm talking about micro fame, what I'm really talking about is people who are famous within a very within a siloed, you know, very sort of narrow environment. Um, it it is a pressure, and also because we're living in a world where the internet never forgets. Whatever you do out there is going to be with you forever. So again, I would I would caution. I would you know I would counsel caution. Um, you need. To, if, if you're going to do this sort of work, to understand that this is the end of your career, whatever that was prior to this point. I'm not saying don't do it. I'm saying understand that there's a price. Another part of the price is the price of, um, and I've come across this with, with, with certain people who they see that, you, you know, one writes and, and you do whatever, um, and, and they think, okay, now I'm going to write something, but they don't, they don't want to do the work. Um, if you're going to write, understand that writing is rewriting. Um, I had one particular person, a very capable person, who had written a large piece. It, it was a first draft. It, it was just that's what it was. It was a first. It was no okay, first draft. It, it now now you start to work. And they asked me for my opinion, and I said, you know, now you need to work on it. You know, you need to hone it, make it good, get rid of the legion grammatical mistakes. And we all make mistakes. That's the work, but they they don't want to do that. They want, they what they want, and it's part of this whole delusion, which is really where we are now. They want to cherry pick the results without without you know, planting the seeds and growing growing the tree. Well, it, it doesn't work that way. So if you're not prepared to do that work, then I would suggest doing something else. Um, and which brings me to so so that to say that there is a price to be paid. It requires paying that price. If you're not prepared to pay it, um, then then don't do it. And the last one is related to all of this, and it's really the what I call the hard work stroke discipline um, versus genius uh, idea. We'd rather have the cult of genius. And I get people write to me saying, "Oh, Sam, you're so clever." Blah blah blah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe yes. Maybe no. I don't know. But what what I do know is I've worked a lot. And that's where it really comes, what it comes down to. I, I give me a, a, a hard worker, somebody who's got discipline, who's going to stick at it day after day after day, rather than a quote-unquote genius, any day of the week. That's what gets things done. And people don't want, they don't want it like that. They, they want to emulate their perception of an effortless victory. Well, it doesn't exist. So if you're not prepared to do the digging day after day after day after day after day, then go and find something else to do. That's the best advice that I can give you. Um, if, if you're still here after all of this and you feel that, you know, you want to um, build upon the kind of work that I've done and Brother Said Mirza have, has done and some other people have done, you know, f- you know, knock yourself out, great. But this, you know, think about it carefully and understand that it, it's mainly work and mainly pain um, the, the rewards are, are undeniable but you know count the cost first that would be my advice anyway i'm gonna draw this to a close now um wrap it up thanks for listening and bye for now <laughs>